straightforward and competent. Produced on a small budget of only 81,000 pounds, this Terence Fisher horror film was released in May of 1958. Unsurprisingly, this updated remake was an international hit and helped Hammer Films secure the rights to Universal's entire library of horror classics. The first entry in a nine-picture series, this short 82-minute feature wastes no time getting right to the blood-sucking action, which is on display in vibrant technicolor. After vampire hunter John Van Eesen goes missing after accepting a job at the Count's lavish castle, Peter Cushing, as Dr. Van Helsing, begins an investigation to find him. Although top bill, the sharply dressed Cushing doesn't appear until a third of the way into the picture, but his commanding presence and authoritative intellect make him a worthy hero. There have been dozens of interpretations of the Van Helsing character over the years, but Cushing's steadfast turn is definitely my favorite. Opposite him as the titular vampire is English legend Sir Christopher Lee. His menacing performance is outstanding and occasionally scary, but he's regretfully absent for most of the middle hour. Beneath his welcoming facade is a layer of contempt and lust, as he almost mockingly wishes his guest goodnight with a dismissive, Sleep well, Mr. Harker. One of only 13 lines for him in the entire film. The two future Star Wars villains make an excellent pairing, especially during their intense final showdown, capped off with some marvelous special effects work. Elsewhere is Michael Goh, whom you likely know as Alfred in the Michael Keaton Batman films, as the husband of Dracula's victim. His partnership with Cushing borders on a full-on bromance, but their analytic approach to the mysterious forces at work is reasonably interesting. I know your one wish is that Lucy should rest in peace. I promise to fulfill that wish, but first, if I have your consent, she can lead us to Dracula. How can you suggest such a thing? That she should be possessed by this evil for another second? And what about Gerda's child out there? And the others she will defile? Oh no, I couldn't, I couldn't. There's nothing particularly showy or even memorable in this picture, but it's an even-keeled approach that doesn't make any mistakes, either. Horror of Dracula is a serviceable and fascinating vampire procedural, and a good film. That does it for this review, but if you'd like to watch full episodes of Movie Night, please visit the Jogwheel YouTube channel. My name is Jonathan Paula, thanks for watching, and have a good movie night.